Hello everyone, this is Mang Sang V from vlemon.com and I am back with new Unity 3D tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we are going to learn about Unity 3D and how to use Unity 3D to create some amazing games. Previously, I uploaded some videos on Unity tutorials, but I am not going to recommend all those videos because all those videos are outdated. And if you want to create some cool and amazing games, then I am going to recommend it. Please watch this tutorial series. This is some important links which helps you to get the content for this tutorial series. The first link is read article. If you don't want to watch videos, then you can read all the available articles on Unity 3D by clicking on this first button. The second button is going to redirect you on the subscribe page. You can select the appropriate subscription option whether you want to subscribe on YouTube and vlamon.com. If you have any queries, if you have any doubts, you can drop your queries at vlamon.com and this third button is going to be redirect on vlamon.com ask question page. This fourth button helps you to download the source code for this tutorial series. And finally, try it yourself. This button is going to redirect you on Unity virtual classes. We are working on Unity 3D virtual classes where you can perform all the steps shown in this tutorial series. So let's say if you want to learn about how to create a Unity 3D game, then you can perform the steps required to create a new Unity 3D game using this virtual classes. A small request to support me Support my channel, support my website by donating a small amount. Your donation is going to help me to buy a pro version of Unity 3D. Your donation is going to help me to buy Camstar Studio for video editing. I want to buy a good microphone for better voice recording. So that's why I'm planning for Blue Microphone Yeti Pro. And your donation is going to help me to keep live my website vlamon.com. This video is the first video in this tutorial series and in our first video we are going to learn about how to create our first Unity 3D project. So let's start. So let's start and create your first Unity 3D project. And for me my shortcut of Unity is available on my desktop. But I'm assuming your shortcut is not available on your desktop. Then in Windows environment you can click on Windows. I am currently using Windows 10 so I am going to click on all apps and in all apps I am going to select the letter so this feature is only available in Windows 10 in previous version of Windows you need to select on Windows and then you need to click on all apps and then you need to scroll scroll up to U letters but in Windows 10 I am going to click on U and this is all the application with the name start with you and here you can find my different version of unity but the latest version at the time of recording this video is unity 5.3.3 f1 64 bit so i'm going to expand this folder and in this folder we have a unity 3d shortcut now a small tip for you if you want to create a shortcut then you can drag and drop this to your desktop but for me it is already available on desktop. Let's say I want to create the same shortcut on start menu. So I'm going to drag and drop my unity icon at start menu. And this is my unity icon is created on my start menu. And I always prefer to create shortcuts on my taskbar. So I'm going to select again my unity icon. And now I'm going to drag and drop the same on my taskbar. So we learn about how to create Unity shortcut on start menu, taskbar or desktop. You can also select right click, pin from start and more pin from taskbar. Uh, currently it is showing unpin because we already created. So let's say let me unpin the same and again I'm going to right click more option and pin to taskbar. So our shortcut is created and we are going to use one of this shortcut to launch our Unity 3D. I'm going to click on my desktop. I'm going to click on this taskbar shortcut. I always prefer to launch any application if shortcut is available on taskbar. So I'm going to click on this icon and this is my Unity splash screen. 
Now sign into your Unity account. If you are opening your Unity first time, then you need to provide your email ID and password in Unity 3D or you can click on work offline. I'm not going to click on work offline because in our future videos, we are going to cover asset stores and for asset store, we must need to provide a valid unity account email id and password okay if you don't have any account you can click on this create one this link is going to be open in browser i am going to open the same in google chrome click on ok this is the page where you can create your unity 3d account you need to first provide your first name last name provide your username inside email provide your email id select your country provide a valid password, confirm password, security question and check this checkbox. I agree to unit terms and privacy policy. And if you want to subscribe the unity newsletter, then you can click on this checkbox also. Once you provided all the required fields, click on create account button to create unity 3d account. Once you created this account, you need to verify your email address. And once the email verification is done, you can able to access your unity 3d account but for me it is already created so i'm not going to create a new unity 3d account so let me close this window inside this i'm going to provide my now we need to create our first unity 3d project for this, I'm going to click on this blue button, a new project. Okay. Inside this, we need to provide our project name. I'm going to provide my project name is VLemon Unity Video Tutorial. If you want to change the location of your project folder, then you can change the project folder location by clicking on this ellipse button and select the appropriate folder but i don't want to change the default location for my project folder the next thing we need to select whether we need to create a 3d project or 2d project for this video we are going to create a new 3d project so i'm going to click on 3d if you want to import some packages then you can select the appropriate package but for our first project i'm not going to import any asset package all these are standard assets if you install standard assets at the time of installation then you are able to see all this asset package and if you didn't install standard assets then you are not able to see all this standard asset package i am not going to select anything click on done zero asset package is selected uh, i am not able to see any number here but if i am going to select any package then i am able to see the number of package selected here but for this video i don't want to select anything done so zero asset package selected finally once your project name is finalized your location is done you selected the appropriate asset package select the project type then click on create project button now i want to copy this i want to open this path in Ex windows explorer uh, why because i want to show you something now right now i don't have any folder with name vlam on unity video tutorial once i'm going to click on create project button unity is going to first create this project folder and then unity is going to copy the required files for this project so i'm going to click on create project and our unity video tutorial folder is created so unity created all these folders copied all the required files and our unity editor is open successfully and that's it for this video if you have any queries doubts you can ask your question question at vlemon.com you can click on this button to access ask question page and finally don't forget to click on subscribe share with your friend like comment provide your feedback and see you all in next unity 3d tutorial video